D.A.R.E. is Corporatist Police State Indoctrination, originally published at the Last Bastille blog on April 29th of 2013, read to you by the author. Totalitarian governments have always sought to break up families. Destroying the social capital, that is trust, between individuals is integral for the hegemonic control of any given population. Turning children against their parents is prima facie evidence of absolute domination by tyrants. Ever since President Richard Nixon's declaration of drug prohibition in 1971, Americans have been besieged with all sorts of disingenuous legal tactics that are emblematic of a police state, rather than what is supposed to be a free country. For anyone who has even bothered to study the subject objectively, it has been designed to fail from the very beginning, in much the same way 1920s alcohol prohibition was. The most damning proof of this are the skyrocketing crime rates and lucrative profit-making opportunities made possible by the very legal statutes mandating drug prohibition in the first place. One police state tactic, no less dev devastating than urban gang violence, much of which is usually over drug turfs, is that of civil asset forfeiture, whereby the government is legally able to confiscate your property without criminally charging you with anything, even with those victimless crimes, provided that they flimsily claim that your property was somehow used in the commission of a crime. Despite the fraud that is contemporary drug prohibition, the establishment still pushes it onto Americans because it serves their interests for incrementally more dictatorial control over the population. Part of slowly generating support for the police state is to indoctrinate those citizens most susceptible to its propaganda. Enter DARE, also known as Drug Abuse Resistance Education. This nonprofit profit corporate educational curriculum turned government program is described by Dare America as, quote, an office, a police officer led series of classroom lessons that teaches children from kindergarten through 12th grade how to resist peer pressure and live productive drug and violence free lives, close quote. This is rather interesting. For why is a police officer needed to teach children much of anything? Can you imagine public school teachers being expected to chase down and apprehend a mugger, or more likely than not, pulling drivers over at the side of the road for a moving violation, in addition to their more typical duties? Remember, since anything you say in front of a police officer can and will be used against you in court, why are public school children subjected to being exposed to someone whose alleged sphere of authority extends to kidnapping and incarcerating anybody they damn well please with near total impunity? Unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. Dare America admits on their own about page that one of the key purposes of Dare is to humanize the police so that the children will perceive these officers of the standing army the founders warned us about as helpful, not just enforcing the arbitrary dictates of the empty suit tyrants and the legislative branch of government. Since D.A.R.E. is aimed at changing the normative attitudes of students, I think it is quite accurate to state that D.A.R.E. socially engineers children. I think it's not only propaganda for statist drug prohibitionists, but it is also a way to turn children into informants against their parents. Consider the cases of Joaquin Herrera and Darren Davis snitching on their parents to the police. Interestingly, poetic justice is not without irony, for both Herrera and Davis personally suffered in the aftermath of their parents' arrests. Perhaps all of this police state indoctrination is worth it if it mitigates the illicit narcotics trade, right? Actually, wrong. Many studies and academic research papers have demonstrated that, at the very least, D.A.R.E. is ineffective in deterring youth from experimenting with drugs, and at most, is actually counterproductive and thus worse than doing nothing. In light of how drug prohibition has utterly failed to keep illicit narcotics even out of prison, why does D.A.R.E. continue to exist? 
the most likely answer to this question lies in nothing more complicated than corporatism. Not only is DARE funded by the military industrial complex, but there are, but there are also four licensed for-profit corporate distributors nationwide of the non-academic merchandise who pay royalty kickbacks to the, to the supposedly non-profit DARE America, ranging anywhere between 42% to 71% of DARE America's annual income. This was revealed by their IRS 990 tax returns between 1992 to 1994. To make matters worse, Dare America, founding board member Robert Buckingham, was also the executive vice president for the distributor Jack Nadel Inc. If that doesn't spell conflict of interest, I don't know what does. While there is a Texas Dare state coordinator, it would seem as if their mission of establishing, of quote, establishing a county community based self sustaining Dare program in every county in Texas, close quote, is thankfully not coming to fruition anytime soon. In 2004, the Travis County Sheriff dropped DARE, an annual evaluation report published by the Austin Independent School District in 2000 stated that, quote, during 1998 to 1999, the local DARE, Drug Abuse Resistance Education Program, which is the nationally known program of classroom instruction by uniformed police officers on the dangers of drugs and on ways to resist negative peer pressure, was discontinued, close quote. The Leander Independent School District has their own version of DARE, known as CAPP, C-A-P-P, the Chemical Abuse Prevention Program, and the Round Rock Independent School District simply provides hyperlinks for people to visit on their own time outside of the classroom. Unfortunately, the City of College Station still actively promotes D.A.R.E. So what can be done about D.A.R.E. in your local area? First, you need to determine if it's been discontinued or not, and if so, whether there has been a replacement drug abuse education program that is essentially D.A.R.E. in all but name. Look for the telltale signs of officer-taught course material, encouragement for children to snitch on their parents, manipulative promotional advertising that would make Edward Bernays proud, corporatist kickbacks, and federal funding. Call up the local school district, the county sheriff, and any applicable city cops, asking them whether they have a D.A.R.E. program. Depending on what you discover, perhaps it is past time for you to pull your children out of public school before they are tricked by those in government to snitch on you, thus ruining both your life and your children's future. You've just heard D.A.R.E. is corporatist police state indoctrination read to you by the author and originally published at the Last Bestial blog on April 29th of 2013.